Hello all developers, welcome back to all of you. My name is Nikhil all the way from India. So in this video tutorial, we are going to explore how we can configure chat communications between agent and end user. For doing so, you need a one plugin to be activated here because connect chat doesn't support in our latest service now instance. So we have to activate advanced work assignment application. Advanced work assignment basically assign a work item to agent based on their availability skills and capacity. So from the application navigator, if you save plugins under the system definition, you could see this menu. Just open a new tab. Just wait for a while. So here you have to do is that just type advanced work assignment so you have to install this advanced work assignment applications once install and if I will search by typing advanced work assignment in the application here please navigator work assignment so you could see this we have got this application advanced work assignment and it has three significant elements or components you can say that are service channels which define what type of work item you want to assign to an agent queues define which team or which team you want to hand over to that particular work item or where you want to route that work item and your assignment rules basically define the criteria to assign work item so let's uh, go one by one let's open the records of service channels So we have uh, three records here. This is the one which I have created. And these uh, two are out of the box provided after in installations. So let me open uh, this because we are going to configure for chat communication. As you can see here, this is for chat interaction, and who we will interact through a virtual agent. An agent will receive a request to accept the chat from workspace. So here uh, see the table selected interaction means agent will work for this interaction record and this assigned to an assignment group will be automatically populated by Q assignment rules I'll show you now it has this IT service Q and under that this is the group okay if any of the member will be available to accept the chat request that user will be assigned to user and assignment group will, will be populated by this IT SMQ okay and see here the condition here type each chat because we will interact using virtual agent chatbot okay and here type selected chat messaging other we can select for us chat only okay and this inbox alert audio uh, when an agent receiving 
work item you will hear music that music you can configure from here and the message alert audio that you can configure from here you can download your own mp3 file and up upload here to upload that you have to upload into this dv database audio table okay so next capacity and utilization see default work item size means at a time how many work item will receive will be received by an agent that you can provide the value like uh, agent will be received uh, this many work items you can provide the value here and the default capacity okay means the work item is assigning to an agent automatically like this is the capacity like agent can uh, work for four work item okay and at a time how many work item will be assigned that you can provide a value here that is one work item okay and what is this utilization condition c when uh, this work item and capacity will be calculated that condition we can add here like if state is one of close complete close abandoned means see if uh, as per the capacity we have four okay and let's suppose one by one work item has been assigned to an agent so it will count based on this condition and this is the layout uh, in works layout agent capacity override will discuss uh, in the next video series see here default layout when agent received when agent will receive uh, to accept incoming work item what all field it should display on that card you can add here like sort description number okay. and this is the queue open already open see this is the queue used to define where do you want to route uh, this incoming work item this interaction work item right this is using this service channel chat because it will work for uh, this interaction work item and here also you want if you want to add condition you can add so you can create your own okay so friend this queue will route work item to this group itsm queue uh, by using this as agent assignment rule okay and if you want to add more than one group you can add here what it is saying let's see so in new tab most capacity 
means based on this service channel for right most capacity and we can assign by last assign or most capacity last assign means last walk item and if you allow agents to reject you can check this and just save it so guys let's see the demo see i'm going to impersonate by one of the member of this group okay and this it is in queue is for to handle the query of it sim related queries that's why i waited this itl role in ew a underscore agent then only in the walk space this user can be able to see the inbox in second i have to add agent workspace user okay role advanced work assignment agent workspace user workspace okay. user just save it no let's impersonate a uh, by this elisa bias hoti okay snet user so first i have to make this user online okay so i think this is the last work item was in the queue that's why it is showing here okay let's leave as it is and let's go and copy this url incognito window here i will log in by a uh, end user it's not a end user uh, able to utter who act as an end user get 2023 go to the portal speed click that chatbot icon and might launch that pre chat survey topic again it is running that pre chat i'll select others okay i'll set it is this summary accurate yes okay so me everything and i will connect to the live agent support 
see please stand by while I'm connecting you to live so here you could see this interaction work item let's accept okay now I can Okay, now I think it's from here. First, I will. Say hi. And here. Hello, how can I help you? Outlook is not working properly. Not able to send any email. So this is the way you can establish a communication between end user and agent. If you really like this video, please do subscribe and share. And not only that, if an agent wants, he can raise incident. For the able tutor. So, so you can see here can raise request change and incident let's create incident okay and details let's see the details and here what you can do you can just copy and paste this our description and here you can see the caller and this he can save okay friends thank you for watching